Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Peter Igaga, and we are here at the Hilton Garden Inn on your favorite show, Men. And we are talking about men and their roles. Are there certain things that a man must do as a man? And also, are there certain things that a man should never do because he's a man? Now, with us once again, we have the Honorable Dr. Miriam Matembe, who actually told us a week or so ago that men can be feminists. But that's a discussion for another day. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Dr. Ali, welcome that, that to the, the show. That is the truth. That is the truth. Yeah. Feminists are both men and women. But anyway, good yeah. evening, viewers. I'm, okay. I'm happy to be back here, by the way, temporarily on this show. <laughs> uh, yes, always good to have you here. Now, um, before we went on air, I was having a chat with Chris, and um, I said, I'm conflicted because I believe that there are certain qualities that a man is supposed to have. A man's supposed to be strong, a man's supposed to provide, a man's supposed to work. But then, are there certain things in your opinion that are strictly men's duties or is it fluid? There are certain things men can do and certain things women can do. You know there is this kind, you are using the word, certain things which men can do mm -hmm. and certain things which they cannot do. Mm -hmm. For me, I think, for now, mm -hmm. before science gets in to change people, mm -hmm. <laughs> or, mm -hmm. or these new trends which make a, a man a woman. <laughs> <laughs> you call them alpha and omega. Yeah. <laughs> a, a man, mm -hmm. a man mm -hmm. cannot be pregnant. Yeah and cannot therefore deliver a baby. Mm -hmm. Pregnant, push out a baby, and breastfeed the baby. Mm -hmm. For me, I think fro apart from that, anything it is that a human being can do, mm -hmm. human can do. Okay. Um, and of course, women, can also do everything that a human being can 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 do. But then, aren't there, especially if we can take the home setting, aren't there specific roles that are laid out for men, and specific roles that are laid out for you women? You know, you asked me what one can do, yes, and I told you what a man can cannot do because he can't do it. Yeah. But I said, besides that, he can do everything in a home. Yeah. But, of course, the stereotyping mm -hmm. and the biases mm -hmm. against which we live mm -hmm. identify certain roles mm -hmm. and give them to a man and certain roles and give them to a woman. There is what we call gender ideology. You know, gender ideology is the one which specifies, for instance, it identifies and defines public space mm -hmm. and private space. Mm -hmm. And it allocates public space to the men and private space to the women. So that mm -hmm. women are known by that ideology that for them they must stay in the home and whatever they do is in the private. Mm -hmm. And then that gender ideology then minimizes even what the women do, mm -hmm. even in the private. Because for sure, assuming that the, ma the woman is for the kitchen, the house, maintenance, you know, running the home, mm -hmm. having babies, nurturing them, cooking for men, dressing them up and doing all those things at home, mm -hmm. I am telling you, it is that kind of work that women do that makes a man who is in public able to stand up in public with confidence and, you know, with all the, the pride, yeah. stand there and do and perform well. Mm -hmm. Yet, this this what is happening here that backs this man perform well in his public life 
is minimized, it is not seen. That's why they ask women, oh, mom, stay home, mom, what do you do? Nothing. They just say, I don't work. And yet the work they do in that home, in that private sphere, is that which makes society live and exist. And yet it is not recognized. So gender ideology mm -hmm. identifies these different roles and allocates them to men and women and makes big significance, gives big significance to what men do and mm -hmm. low, low, or minimize and undermine what women do. And yet in practice, what women do is the one which makes society and, and make life and make a family. Okay. Chris? Uh, running off what um, uh, Honorable Matembe has said, um, we're talking about gender ideology. Could it be that um, the whole gender ideology is actually there to create a system that works? Because for as long as there's not a system, then everything is, is, is haywire and society collapses. Um, Peter, okay, so I, I know that uh, Honorable Matembe has been working with women um, and fighting for rights of women and that kind of thing for a long, long time in this country and I have the utmost respect for, for the work that she has done and others like her have kept on doing. Um, and to be honest, it's, it's my first time to <coughs> interact with the phraseology of gender ideology and how you've explained it um, <coughs> makes sense in terms of how it's been interpreted by the people who framed that. However, I, I keep on going back to the original author of Man and Woman, who is God. And, and, and for me, it's, it's sort of where I'm always coming from, to say, how did God <coughs> create man and woman? And, and what are the things that have been, were inbuilt in there already? That, that would sort of help us to, to frame and shape roles and responsibilities. Especially, we're talking about roles and responsibilities of a man in a home. Yeah. Now, modernity, exposure to all sorts of cultures has opened up um, the Ugandan man to, you know, to think themselves differently. You talk to different guys and that there's, there's those who say a man cannot cook. There's no way he could cook. That's women's role. Others say, well, the modern man cooks. Um, and, 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 and there's no agreement on that. But I think that, say for example, when you look at uh, the book of Proverbs, Solomon, wise guy, Proverbs 31. It's a proverb that was written to a king called Lemuel by his uh, mother. And... and and then in there, it talks about a virtuous woman. And it describes this woman who is industrious, considers a field and buys it, um, uh, you know, hires workers. That runs is Proverbs 31. 31 exactly. Verse 10 to yes. the end. Runs the home, does all these things, which if you came to the modern home now, you find many men doing many of those things. They consider land and they buy, they, you know. But, but it's talking about a woman. And, and in there it says that the heart of her husband safely trusts her. And he sits at the city gate, at, which is an honored place. The city gate back in the day was like when you're sitting at parliament or in an honored place in the society. So, so whereas what we think the modern woman should be doing uh the arguments may be she's got to um look after the kids and all that but then we have to be by by uh at, at by vocational home she's got to also go work and bring in some money because she can't just be eating the money and and, and 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 the stereotyping we have may be a gross limitation to the potential that women may have and therefore the roles they could play right managing money um, multiplying things investments and etc now i'm saying that well knowing that it differs case by case there are some women who unfortunately don't know anything about money 
about about many things. Mm. But also there's so many men who don't know anything about anything. Mm. <laughs> you are right. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's a truth. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So 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 it's I, I see it as a case by case. And maybe the conversation should be what old men do mm. or what old women do. Mm. And maybe we can in that in that space find some some relative conversation but so, some objectivity mm -hmm. but it's a very relative and very wide oh, space yeah. that uh, one could argue with this on this from any angle mm -hmm. so that's my perspective but mm -hmm. i would still go back to what was god's original intent what's the potential the capacity yeah. uh, mm -hmm. that's inbuilt for men and inbuilt for women mm -hmm. okay. yeah. christoph albert you're looking sharp I don't know whether it's by design or by... <laughs> Looking like a million dollars. <laughs> now, as a young man, are there certain things that for you, especially in the home, are just a no-go? And this is, I'm not throwing you under the bus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Peter, you are... You, you're, calling, you're calling upon me to be very subjective. Yeah. yeah, that's what you're doing right now. As it, as uh, uh, Chris has told you, in that uh, every, every every man is different, and every man uh, ends up with a different lady. If at all it's a lady that you end up with, or you end up alone, there are only two sides of the coin in my world. You either end up alone or with a lady. So, you alone you're different with as compared to other men. With another lady. As compared to other ladies, you pick a different lady from all the different ladies that are, that are in the world. Mm -hmm. So you, end, you come together to form a home or a family that, is, that ought to be different, theoretically, has to be different in all angles. Yeah. Right? It has to be different. So based on your, the, the understanding mm -hmm. in that union, surely a, a deed or a do or a don't would be different in so many di in all all different homes. Someone say, as he says, someone says, I do not cook. Others say, I need to cook. I am a good cook. Why would my wife cook for me poorly or not as well? Not as not as good. Yet I am a very good. Go. Oh, yeah. Yet I'm a very good cook. So yeah. he takes up that responsibility. So it's very relative. Unless you're asking for me, what as Albert? Yes, you. Oh my God, this is quite <laughs> yeah. dangerous. Uh, it's like laying down all your cards before you, before, before you uh, to all the ladies that, hey, uh, this is what I did. Uh, I, I, I he said, has you got yet? Uh, no, he doesn't. Does oh, you need to talk to him. So that, so that he probably sharpens his rules. Uh, yeah. You know I know how to talk to them when they go and marry. You remember? Yes. Colin, Colin, Colin. Yes. He told him yeah. I'm going to get you one, and uh, <laughs> came to pass. he walked into our home. Hey, uh, yes. You know where he married? We handed him <laughs> over the wife. Yeah. <laughs> there so you, you go. Might, you might be in love. So, you, so you need to visit. Yeah, it's good. I'm still next to you. You need to go yeah. to Cape uh, Lozira. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as Albert. I wouldn't tell you the don'ts. I, I would be very honest. She I wouldn't. Miss you. Yeah, I, yes, oh, yes. I, I, yes. Watch you. I watch you. Yeah, yes. that's setting myself into a trap. And you're just falling. You're seeing the trap. You're falling into it. And I know. <laughs> yes, but what I can yeah. tell you are, are the, what I believe as Albert, mm -hmm. are the do's. What are the good things? Um, what are the good or, uh, um, the the right direction a man should take mm -hmm. in terms of roles and responsibilities? Yeah. Yes. Um. I'm a Catholic boy, mm -hmm. and uh, I've, I'll always be one. And it's from that I, I, I have always, um, I, I learned something way, way, way back from my dad. He was he's good at uh, researching about saints and all. So he told me, as a man, you have, he said, once he was saying, I don't think he talked about roles and responsibilities. He just said, as a man or as a parent, that's where we also getting because we want to talk about men, but and yet when we are talking in a home, we talk about a parent. Mm -hmm. you know, men, a woman could be a man in the home. So very, very thin line. I'm trying to support you here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you are right. That is the truth. Yeah. So as 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 a man, what are your, your duties? And so he talked about a saint, the saint of the teachers, a, a patron saint of the teachers. 
and he's called uh, Saint John the Baptist de la Salle. Mm. I talked about him sometime on the show. And he basically told us, as a parent, or as a man, if you want to specify, you have just four simple roles, or mm. duties. I say, is, the first role you have is to just maintain, create, a, create an environment of maintenance. Mm -hmm. Maintain the home, maintain your wife, you know, maintain your kids, maintain, maintain yourself, put up an environment where people can thrive. The second one would be instruct, give instructions. Can I hold you to that? I know we continue there as soon as we come back from All the break. Right. Yeah. Don't forget your point. Now we are here at the Hilton Garden Inn talking about the roles and responsibilities of a man. Is it a gray area or is it clear cut? Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back from the break. We're here at the Hilton Garden Inn having a great cup of coffee and some cookies. Your, your cookies are there, I don't know if you, you, you've seen it. Uh, <laughs> as we talk about the roles and responsibilities of a man. Now, Albert, yes. you were giving us your, your, your points, your second one. Yeah, the second one is you have, you, you, you have, uh, you, you have the duty of being an instructor. Yeah. Give instruction. So, and we know the first word, what's the first two-letter word the kids, a child learns? Dada. No. N-O. Just no. Okay. Don't look. No, 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 no. So you find the kid, everything, do you want this, even if it's something good? No. And he's just innocently <laughs> just saying no, because those are the first two-letter words they learn. So, but basically what, what um, St. John was trying, to tell, was trying to say that, that give the instruction throughout life, even when you're an old man, always give the try as much as possible to give as much instruction because you're trying to create a better direction for them. And uh, the third one would be correction. Uh, I don't know if she will help me. Is a saying that Akati, no Kwarachi? Kini Kakabisi. Yes, you can, you can only uh, mend or straighten the stick when it's still uh, wet or young. Or, yes. So that's the best correction. So as a man or as a parent, you, you're given that duty to correct, to try as much as possible to correct. Because when you're young, uh, in the Bible it says, when I, was, I did what were things that, when I was young, I did thought like a ma young man, mm. thought like this. And when I grow up, I now think like an old man. Because, and all that is, there's, an third, there's a third person mm -hmm. in that that is trying to correct, that is trying to help you write your story better. Mm -hmm. all right? And then the last one St. John talks about is, be a good example. There is a certain meme or certain post I saw sometime whereby there were certain uh, men that were jogging behind with so many muscles and packs and there was a small man w w moving in front. And then there's also this similar one whereby there are two, there are two old men walking with their backs, very old men walking, and there's a young, very young man walking and uh, mimicking or copying whatever they're doing. And the caption there was, you can always show a good example because you never know who is watching. Mm. So as a man, even maybe not for your home only, but for even other people that are watching that are going to go back to their homes, do as much as possible to show a very good example. Mm -hmm. Be the good example. Yeah. And I, in that I call myself is the biggest duty a man has is being present. If you are present, you're able to do anything along that spectrum, along any spectrum you want. I want to teach them this, I want to teach them. If you are present, mm -hmm. that is the biggest duty you can give, okay. you, can, you, can, you can, the biggest gift you can give yeah. at home. Okay. Yes, so okay. that would be my take on the roles. Of uh -huh. course, I have takes on responsibilities, which are, bis uh, of course, seem still from the same faith. Um, they're just basic, you, you fend, you defend, you build, and you lead. So if you, and, and all those are also coined from, there is the duties, that if you are able to understand your duty as a man, yeah. or as a parent, you're able to say, okay, I have to do this, do this, this, you'll be able to build leadership, build, build capacity, build good behavior, instill uh, uh, good discipline, discipline. Yeah. you'll have the home you want 
or the home God has given you with that he wants you to have a good home you'll have the peace you want from the ladies you'll have the perfect <laughs> what you call the <laughs> ideal or the yeah. utopia you would want yeah. if you know where your where, where are the lines where are your blue lines and green lines yeah, are yeah, yeah. honorable you seem to have a, a fact, very good effect yeah, on, on this young man i've yeah. been listening to to both my my sons here yeah, yeah. and uh, chris came in and talked about god as you know man was created by god and after creating man God saw that there was something missing. Man needed a helper to come and help him in what he is doing. That is before the fall of man. Mm. So God created a woman to be a helper and a suitable companion to the man. In some, which some case, can say she is the one who, who made him fall. That we shall talk. <laughs> it was actually the man who caused the fall. If you don't know, you, we shall talk that. Oh. I was on the other point. <laughs> so, in other words, God saw the man. God had created the man to give him a responsibility, which was supposed to praise him, to worship him, and to thank him, and to rule his creation. But after creating him, man was... He was not talking. He, was, he sat there like a statue. Mm -hmm. And God said, hey, it is not good. This thing I have created here to do a certain role cannot do it. Therefore, I need to create a suitable helper who would assist him in playing the role I want him to play. And you need to know that before God created a woman, he did not assign any responsibility to the man because the man was incapable of no, the wait wait i finish my point according to god man was not in a position to play that role i will prove this after creating the woman and the the man saw the woman by his side he burst into poem rib of my rib, flesh of my flesh, started talking. In other words, life entered the man. So a woman brought life and meaning into the man and he was supposed to assist him and help him in whatever he was doing. In which case, man was the main to act mm -hmm. and the woman to assist you in what you are doing. That was before the fall and they were to leave as equal partners in the work that God gave them. Because God told them, go produce and multiply, go and rule the earth. Both of them yeah. assisting the man while they do a job for God. Mm -hmm. You get it? Yeah. So there was no demarcation of woman do this, man do this. Mm -hmm. Okay? But then upon the fall, when there was sin and they fell, equality there stopped. Because God clearly said, you man, you are the main worker. In sweat and toil, you will earn a living. Mm -hmm. Therefore, man is supposed to do all the heavy, everything. You wait, you need to read these scriptures very well. And he told the woman, in childbearing, you will have your measure of suffering. Eh? Mm -hmm. So you men were supposed to do work, and because work was assigned to you, that's why God told the woman, this man will rule over you, because he's the main provider, he's doing everything for you. Mm -hmm. For you, you are producing what? Children. The babies. Yeah. And it was the responsibility of the man to provide for the babies, provide for everything, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, one thing I keep wondering about is when men decided to become men, eh, mm -hmm. and instead of doing all that job they are supposed to do, they abandoned it to this woman, 
the woman continues to, re to become pregnant, to produce the babies, breastfeed them, nurture them, while, while let me finish. Okay, yes. <laughs> because I know what is happening in homes generally now. You are talking of roles of men. Men have co many men have completely abandoned their roles and they are, instead of sweating and toiling as God told them, they, all they want is respect me. I'm your no, boss. But, but, respect but, 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 me. But, but, you are my boss. I'm bringing money. I'm doing everything and you are my boss. Which boss are you? No, but Honorable, don't you see there's a bit of a gray area there because are we then saying <laughs> that as for as long as a man provides and takes care of the woman, the woman is, uh, is just meant to stay, stay at home and I have am babies. dead. Let me tell you, if God's rules were to be followed, like, I don't know where these th other things came from. Where you cook, make the bed, do what, do what, peel. I don't know where it came from because I don't <laughs> see it anywhere. Who, did, who, who brought that role? I will look at the scripture he gave. That is when much, much later Solomon came in. But when we are talking of God at his when he created and decided the roles and upon the four. And he said, you woman, suffer this, and you man, suffer this. And therefore, because you are going to be the main provider and doing all this sweating, this woman should listen to you and you rule over her. Aren't we disempowering women then? Which is disempowerment? Uh, we I, are talking uh, now, let me tell you why I'm saying this. Yeah. I don't know where all these do this, do that, and man do this, and woman do this. When God created them, what he said that they would do is what is written there. As to how, who brought the whole issue of you, woman, you, you see what hurts me is that the issue of ruling the woman eh, still prevails. You want to rule over women. Whether you provide or not, you want to rule over women. And the reason why, by the way, marriages are breaking so quickly these days, men want to own this whole responsibility of ruling over women by not doing what God told them. He told them to sweat and provide everything for this woman. Now for them, they fail to do this and women have come up, they are supplementing, they are doing this, they are but building, but and, yet, a good thing. and yet, let me tell you what is very bad, and I know it, and I will shut up. <laughs> you don't know what it means when a man, you know man, eh? you know what man means, eh? when he reduces himself into just only wearing trousers and having whatever manhood he has, and doing nothing else and letting the woman providing everything, and after he has provided everything, now he comes to pose around, I am your husband, you must, I must rule over you. Chris, help me out, two things. Um, <laughs> okay, Honorable has said a lot of things. Yeah. Now, first and foremost, if we go back to the biblical way then, aren't we then saying that men are more superior than women? And that they, for as long as a man provides, then the women are supposed to stay underneath. Then secondly, um, I don't we really feel that it's a very, very thin line. Okay. When we look at women um, and, and we say, um, we, 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 uh, aren't they the ones who are breeding these men? We talked about house husbands. Aren't they a product? If a man is being provided for, why should he sweat? He's eating his cake. We talked about men who are eating their cake and, and having it. But yeah. I, I think that the, the conversation here, um, and, and it's really gotten quite deeply theological, but um, the, the conversation here, if we're going back to original intent, so here's, here's an example I'll give you. If, if I intended to serve a, a, a very nice cup of African coffee, as I've just taken right here, and, and, and I want to serve it hot, and I would like it to be, you know, great tasting and all that stuff. But then, just before I serve it, I tip over the cover, and for some reason, I don't see any flies in this great hotel, but for some reason, a fly comes and falls in the teapot. It has just messed up the drink, and I have to make one of two decisions. Do I pour it, 
and order for another? Mm -hmm. Or do I get a strainer or a spoon and take the fly out and hope to God that whatever else I drink is still tea or coffee? Mm -hmm. In, in, if I decided to drink that thing in that state, mm -hmm. scooped out the fly, I am drinking something that is close to what I wanted but is not quite. Mm -hmm. so, so we have a scenario where after the fall of man, things changed, but there was an original intent. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's better to first of all refer to what the original intent was. The original intent, God wanted man to have dominion on the earth. And by man, I mean male and female. Yes. He says, by hu as human. Uh, multiply, fill the earth, subdue the earth, have dominion. Both of you. Right? Rule over the earth together. So there was a leader and there was a helper, but they were both meant to subdue. So if it comes to matters of subduing the earth, whether you're talking about business, whether you're talking about, um, you know, different things, economics, um, intellect, and all that. Uh, Honorable here has a PhD. You can subdue uh, a subject, etc., whether you're male or female. That's not a problem. The question becomes, what should the roles of a man and a woman be in a home setting? Because that's different. I can work four honorable in a workspace mm -hmm. and she's my boss and, and i'm fine she's female and male and that's okay but in our home mm -hmm. i am a husband mm -hmm. and i have a wife the roles are so different, different. Mm -hmm. the responsibilities ought to be different and i think that that's something we need to delve into a little more mm -hmm. um, i have some thoughts that 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 could uh, okay. could could be helpful on that yeah well, because you see, um, at, at the end of the day, we um, just as you said, there are clearly some roles that are meant to be played by men. But now, you know, there's this issue of house husbands who are creeping But you up. see, let me tell you, Peter, yeah. as we were talking, just when you look at a man, you asked me one question. What can man do and what can't he do? When you look at a human being, I told you exactly what a man cannot do but when it comes to what you can do there you can do what a woman can do apart from the other one mm -hmm. now what I don't like mm -hmm. is when you make a list of do's and don'ts like it used to be those days yeah. where they would say me I have a brother of mine is completely unfortunate now he's so helpless because this brother of mine did could not even he couldn't make himself a cup of tea he had this wife playing the role of a wife you do everything mm -hmm. to the extent that the moment the man the woman dies you are really dying you die mm -hmm. i have seen many men these days i think things are, are different now, when I'm going to have to stop you there as we get into a break, but mm. as soon as we come back, we are going to start with you. Now, we are here at the Hilton Garden Inn talking about the roles and responsibilities of men, especially in the home. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back from the break. In case you've just joined us, we are here at the Hilton Garden Inn talking about the roles and responsibilities of men. This is your show. We want to hear from you. Go to our Facebook page, like it. Let's start talking um, about these issues. Also, you can follow us on Twitter. Our handle is NTVMenUG. Let's get talking. I always say if we don't talk about these issues, they will continue eating us alive. I cut you short. Okay. Yes. And I'm not saying that there should not be order in a home. I should be understood very clearly. What I'm talking about is where they clearly demarcate roles. I, I will turn it down to, to the reality. Yeah. Where you say it is the woman's responsibility to pay, to cook, to make a bed, to do all sorts of things and that a man 
cannot do that. Mm -hmm. You know, one time, I gave here an example. I used to make a bed because I knew traditionally making a bed is my responsibility. Mm -hmm. And when I became busy, hmm, I used to, I could get up early and go away, leave my husband in bed, and, and I go. I think I used to make a bed, but one time I went early, and when I came back, I found he had gone to bed, and he had gone into a bed which was not made. And me, I didn't know <laughs> that it was not made. So I came in and I also entered in the bed. But the sheet, I pulled the sheet and there was no sheet, it is all confused. And I was saying, but what's wrong with, with this bed sheet? Mm -hmm. And he was very angry, I said, did you make the bed? Mm -hmm. So I said, hey, you mean you slept in the bed which is not made? I didn't know that the bed was not made. Why didn't you make it? He said, me? Mm -hmm. Making a bed? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, something clicked into my mind. Hey, so there is something stupid about making a bed. Because the way he said it, me, like, so demeaning. And of course, you know me, I don't keep quiet. Mm -hmm. I said, excuse me, what is so stupid about making the bed that I am who makes it? Mm -hmm. You know, it, may, it woke me up. Mm -hmm. And from that time, I said, okay. If I'm to make the bed, then you get out, I make the bed. Mm -hmm. If you stay in the bed lying there, and I go and leave it unmade, when you come out, make it. Mm -hmm. So there was that kind of, of understanding that anybody can do what? Can make, make the, bed. the bed. And let me tell you how it helped us. Mm -hmm. Eventually, I got this back problem where they tell me I can't bend. And you know, making a bed is not easy, six foot, whatever go around to bend and make the bed and and because he had already learned making the bed yeah. now i i he can't sleep in and made bed because the madame cannot bend you know to make this bed yeah. so when he made the bed did he stop being a man and there are quite a number of things i wouldn't tell you here but but, but they are quite private or whatever but what the men could say they, they are not doing. Like you go, you go to the hospital, they operate you, hmm? mm. and this is your husband, and you, you can't wash like you are underpants, mm. but you are busy washing his, <coughs> but how can he wash? And your sister and your whatever are the ones washing your pants. Why should they be the one? Washing the pants. You know, so I have my sons. I talk practical, practical situation. Yeah. I have my sons. They have married. One of them was you. Are, you said you are schoolmate. They have married. I have visited Godwin when they have a baby. They both go. They put the baby down. Each of them. They help bathing the baby. They nappies. They finish. They 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 mix the milk. They are doing the things together together i have seen grace my son here mm -hmm. doing together i've seen gilbert in canada they do it they help even in the kitchen they help these days there is a microwave there is you know rice cooker there is a kettle there is all these like things the are there yeah. so what can't they do what that they they fall short of being a man I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, and I'll uh, direct this at Albert. Albert, I know of young men like you who recently married, uh, the wife travels for work, the wife actually gets her sister to come and stay when she's away mm. to take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine when the man now, eh? now when the man turns around, and you know they do, you bring your sister to take care of the baby and you are not there. <laughs> You are, you are now enticing the man to pick up your sister. But no, no, but they do it, by the way, you no. know that they do it? Yeah, but your man can say no. Your point. Yes. Yes, what was your point? Yes. So what is it with that thinking, especially you, you young men? That, with what thinking? That yes. was the woman's decision. It's not a man who signed up to it, like said, okay, whenever you leave, bring your sister over. 
So the man, that's the woman, maybe the lady's insecurities. I don't want to talk about the lady's insecurities here. Uh, the, because it's just perception. I don't want to say that uh, the man, because of the man's ways, it's the woman had to put up certain measures. I don't want to talk about that. I want to mm -hmm. focus on the man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you're asking me that what's wrong with men of this generation? Yeah. That's the, maybe that's what you're asking. Baby, but I'm going to go back to that other one. Oh, another time. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which <Yes>. one? <laughs> <laughs> a, a man's... This, listen, Peter. Men of these days, first of all, they don't want to commit. Why? Because, man, mm -hmm. there's too much... There's too much cavuyo mm -hmm. in there. In this... Yeah, he said... Oh, let me finish. Until there's too much... Say. Yes, mm -hmm. there's too much cavuyo mm -hmm. in the marriage... Uh, uh, in the marriage sphere of young the, people oh no 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 Bas just the marriage sphere that what we see what we perceive mm -hmm. there's too much people as she has been saying there's too much category why why don't you lay the bed you do someone says hey oh man let me leave that for now and when he enters into a relationship many of these days especially those who have not been mentored well mm -hmm. they're going to make so many mistakes because with human you make a mistake yes. however I want to concentrate on, on proper mentorship. That is where, that's my point. If you mentor a boy child well, trust me, what she's talking about doing things together, it is what you learn. It is what you are instructed. It is the example you are given. That is what you see. If I, I am very, very, very fortunate that I have seen both my parents together Till today, and I'm so happy about it because I am still learning. Mm -hmm. By the time I meet that girl, by the time I when decide to commit, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> by the time, by the time I go down that road mm -hmm. or down the pit, wherever, however, whichever way you would put it, it depends. Mm -hmm. Perception. To, to us, it's a pit. You enter marriage, hey, you're locked up. <laughs> hey, listen, that's, I'm giving you a perception. You are, right, you are locked are up. Learning. You are locked up. Eh? Now, if you are choosing to go down that direction with Poor mentorship, poor advice, limited um, examples. Not Trust finished. me, you are that's you're going to go there and you're going to expect a bed to be laid. You're going to expect a woman to, to work for you. But if you are given the right mentorship, no mm. matter how deep the you will find the, you'll you will find that that is the highest point for both of you because you will try to lift yourselves. So I encourage the men out there. You must be present. You must, and when you say presence, it doesn't mean you have to be physically. The, like physically. No, no, no. Presence in the, phil, in the philosophical mm. way. In all aspects, you must, in, in, in most cases, when you're young, when the child is and, still and this young. this is going to be your parting shot. Yes. When you're still young, when you are still, when the child is still young, you must be the man manager. Man manage everything. Don't do this, do this. Because the, at that point, you're, you're downloading you're downloading, and after that, watch, be the manager that watches from, supervise, just watch. See how they, then correct. Say, no, 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 here, when they come for advice, advise in the right way, because you must be present. Mm -hmm. We are talking, uh, we are talking philosophical in terms of the Bible, or in terms of African tradition, because we're Africans, but in the end, your identity in a home is still yours and the person you choose to be with. That will be your identity. Mm -hmm. So how you choose to let your child go to create their identity is very much more important. Uh, the engineer, uh, MD of National Water, Dr. Engineer Dr. Silva Mugisha, once recently on a certain conference of leaders, she said, a leader is only as good as his successor only as good so you might be such a wonderful oh, people are talking about you hey, and yet you're raising rubbish so in the end mm. my parting shot would be gentlemen out there and ladies out there people who are trying to create a home try as much as possible to be like to, to follow the the, the 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 mentor of teachers he talked about maintenance he talked about uh, instruction correction and good example and then for your responsibilities, if you are looking for responsibility, you have very simple responsibility. Defend, fend, build, and lead. But all that needs you to be present, philosophically, not just physically. Be present and trust me, if you want to change the world, that's where you start. Start by changing as the, 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 the women feminist thing. 
that if you want to change the world, change the girl child. Yes, yeah, start by changing that whole <laughs> child. Change him, okay. and then you'll have what you want. Great stuff. Chris, wow. the man has been very, very oh, solid. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's very, very solid. And he has been very solid and, 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 and married because he would certainly succeed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm praying that, that you get the right woman. The producer, invitation cards of my wedding. So I, the first person to attend my wedding. <laughs> and I will give a speech. <laughs> right. I will give a testimony. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, it's unfortunate. Uh, we've run out of time, but like all good things, you know, yeah. we, we've got to wrap this up. But I, I wanted to speak um, into my perspective of, of, as I do my part in short, my perspective of the roles of men and the roles of women. Just putting it very simply. Um, I would say three things about the roles of a man. Um, you find that in the Old Testament, or even different places, different cultures, there was a king, there's a prophet, and there is a priest. And, and so simply I would say that a man in a home needs to be those three things. Prophet, priest, and king. A prophet really is not just a foreteller, but an encourager. Someone who sees good in others and calls it out. And I think men must play that role. Because the words that a man speaks over his wife encourage her. The, the words he speaks over his children encourages them into greatness. So, prophet. Second, priest. It's important for men to, to pray over their kids and over their wives. And I think it's, you know, wherever, whatever your persuasion is, prayer is a big deal. Because if you have that great relationship with God, it's a good thing for you to do. That role can't be delegated. No one can pray for you on your behalf for your kids or your family or your wife. The third thing is to be a king. What kings usually do is they both lead and provide, create an environment where economics works well, but there's also direction and leadership. I think those are three quick, quick roles that men all over the world can play, prophet, priest, and king. But the role of woman is, um, I, I think it's Rod Cyrus, um, he wrote a book called Marito Bliss, and one time I heard him speak in a space, and he was talking about the fact that the role of a woman is to actually surround the man. If you think about it, whether you're thinking biologically or not, <laughs> the women surround the man. So it's to protect, seriously, it's to protect the man. Uh, help him not to get side-winked into different things. Help him keep focus. Um, you know, focus on you as a woman and not with all these other women. Focus on his role. Focus on his vision. So if women can just surround their men as just one role, just surround him and help him to focus. The roles are clear. My opinion, very simple. Great stuff. But uh, I agree with Your you. Party. But they will surround, protect, and even defend a man who is doing the right thing. The right thing is according to the word of God, as you said in, in, by Paul, they are supposed to be the head of their home. They, they guide, they give direction to the home. And then the wife is supposed to help you in what you are doing. But the problem is that the men mainly have abandoned, many of them have abandoned their roles. And yet, they continue asserting their power and their authority. I want this point to come out very clearly. You cannot have your cake and eat it. Be the head of the household, as Christ was the head of the church. Love the household, support the household, and do everything for your household while your wife is beefing you up because she's the bone on which you lean, the rib on which you lean. But if you just speak your rights and power, I am the head, and God says I'm the head of the household, and it ends just being the rules, the authority, and that kind of thing, which is not going along with the responsibility that you are supposed to do. That's what is leading to many breakages of marriages. And these breakages 
are scaring the young people like this. <laughs> they say instead of going into it mm. and I, I become a slave or I suffer, mm. let me stay the way I, I am. Fear. And yet, a stable family is the basis of a stable society and a stable nation. And in fact, it is my desire. And I want to call upon mainly women, by the way, because according to the Bible, they have the responsibility of fighting the devil. Because God said, you woman, you will hit the head of the snake and, the, and the, your children will fight also the snake and its siblings. Yeah. So I call upon the women of this land to kneel and pray to God and pray for marriages and especially for the young people that homes may come back and be what they should be. Great stuff. Now we're here at the Hilton Garden Inn and we've been talking about roles and responsibilities, especially of men. I don't think there's much more that I can add. You have heard it. You know what to do. Let's just do it. And I believe that every man has the ability to be an alpha male. Men need to take charge. With that, have a good night. We will see you next <laughs> week right here, only on men. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>